Hi everyone, this is Andy from Giz China, and I think in this package we have a Zoppo C3. So let's take a look. Um, the package came already open, so I don't need to open up this bag. All right. Nothing else in the box. Okay. <clears throat> Zoppo C3. This is the packaging. So like here, as you can see, Zoppo C3 white. Got the specifications on the back. 5 inch 1080 display, 1.5 gigahertz quad core processor. So it's the MT65890 turbo processor. We have 1 gig of RAM, 16 gig of uh, ROM. Dual SIM, 30 megapixel camera on the front, on the back, sorry, 5 megapixel on the front. Um, in fact, it's very similar to the Zoppo C2. The only difference I can see from the specs on the box and online is the fact that it doesn't look like this phone has a, a Gorilla Glass display. Alright, let's take a look in the box. Alright, so there's a battery, it's a 2000 mAh battery. What else do we have? We have a mask so you can cut down your SIM. Headphones. USB data cable. Charger. White charger. Alright. Instruction book. And the phone itself. Here it is. Alright, so this is the uh, Zoppo C3. It's specification wise it's very similar to the C2 but design wise it's a little bit different as you can see the edges are more rounded has a glossy back if we just put this next to uh, the C C2 this is the C2 this is the C3 from the front they look very similar but you can see there are some design differences. The C2 is more angular and the C3 is more rounded. The position of the rear cameras is a little bit different too. This is a shiny, more or more shiny, more glossy rear compared to the C2. One thing that I've, I've been asked about and I'm, I'm curious myself, is the C3 any more, any less bendy, sorry, than the C2? So let's give that a go. No, it's just as bendy as the C2. You can see that. All right, then. Anyway, let's get a battery in here. See if there's some power in. Let's take the screen protector off. All right, pop the back off. Is there a space? There we go. All right. All right. While we're in here, we can see we've got SD card slot here and dual SIM. I won't put my SIM in just yet. Let's pop the battery inside. Hopefully there's some power in here. Oh, the printing on this. Oh no, something sticky on the back. Okay. Let's turn it on. Maybe no power. There we go. Alright, so there we are, it's on. <clears throat> Let's take a look at this. Uh, okay, just quickly flicking through the screen. Seems good. The C2 does seem to have some ghost touches now and again. The C3 seems to be okay. Let's see if we've got any interesting apps on here we can try out. No Antutu, so we can't try that just yet. Alright, it looks pretty good. Let's have a look at the camera. Alright, we don't need to see this. Yeah, it's very, very similar. Very similar to the the C2. Um, it has backlit buttons. I know that's something that one of you, it's a few of you, are asking about. Viewing angles look quite nice. Yeah, all in all, 
just you know from this quick hands-on and looking at the phone there's very little difference between the C2 and the C3 I have to say personally I prefer the C3 the design is much nicer it feels much comfier in your hand than the C2 the C3 feels a lot lighter too than the C2 or maybe not so light but a little lighter anyway so here it is um, once I've got this review up, uh, up on GIS China, I'll work on the FAE F1 review and then I'll do the C3 review. So, uh, plenty of reviews coming over the next few days at GIS China. Alright, thanks very much. Speak to you soon. Bye bye.